Let's be honest, the idea of success isn't new and shelves are overflowing with advice on the topic. But what if I told you that the key to success isn't found in these books, but within you? That's right, your unique strengths, your individual spark. This isn't just another set of rules. It's about recognizing that true achievement comes from tapping into your own potential. Everyone's chasing success, sure. We all want the sense of having quote unquote made it. But have you noticed how everyone's version of success looks a little different? That's because success isn't one size fits all. It's deeply personal and it's about the journey as much as the destination. This journey is driven by something called individuality. It's that unique something that sets you apart from the crowd and it's the force that propels the greats to do great things. It's not about following in someone else's footsteps, but carving your own path. You might wonder, why talk about a path to success when each one is so different? Well, it's because understanding that no rule book can define your success is the first step in creating your own. So what's the secret then? It's recognizing and embracing your individuality. It's understanding that you have the power to shape your life, not as a passive follower, but as an active creator. Let's not wait for others to lead the way or be content with the status quo. The world remembers those who dare to take the reins of their own lives, those who step out from the crowd not just by chance, but by choice. This video isn't about giving you a map to follow, it's about inspiring you to draw your own. Because when you build on what makes you unique, you're not just working towards success, you're living it. Remember, the magic of success lies in being authentically you. Let's uncover that together. Now, I talked about success being deeply tied to individual expression. But before we dive deeper, it's vital to grasp what individual really means. It's not a mere label. It's about waking up to the I, letter I, in you the core of your identity, the director of your life story. This might seem too philosophical for some, but hang in there because realizing your eye is when you tap into real power. Take a moment to reflect on yourself. Beyond the physical you, the face in the mirror, there's a complex being. This eye is the real deal, the captain of your ship, so to speak. And then there's the me, your personality, the traits and quirks you show the world. But don't confuse me with your essence. The I is deeper. It's the quiet voice steering the me in his daily dance. This I isn't just about your body, which is constantly changing, nor is it about your energy, even though it feels essential. It's not even your thoughts, which can be as fleeting as the wind. It's the one behind all that, the observer and the doer in your life. Think about it. Your body is just the vessel, your energy the fuel, and your mind the engine. But who's the driver? That's the I. It's the part that decides, that chooses, that takes action. And this I is not subject to wear and tear like the rest. It's the core of you, untouched by time or trouble. So what's the takeaway here? It's to realize that you're not just the roles you play or the mask you wear. You are an individual unique and undivided. Your personal story, your individuality is yours to write. It's not about fitting into boxes or living up to labels. It's about embracing and expressing your true self, your I in everything you do. And that's the essence of the individual. It's about recognizing your true self and owning it. It's the unyielding force within you that's capable of so much if only you let it shine through. Being spirited is like having a vibrant, unstoppable energy deep inside. It's not about the mystical or supernatural. It's a tangible, robust, presence that bubbles up from the core of your being. 
This energy is not just human. It's seen across the animal kingdom and is not tied to physical strength or size. It's about the essence of your soul, your inner strength and courage, which define true influence and leadership. Often, it's a quiet yet powerful force of will and determination, more impactful than obvious displays of power. Spirited individuals are marked by strong inner convictions. They have a spark that lights up their actions and inspires those around them. This spiritedness is visible in their steady gaze, firm stance, and natural charisma drawing people in not by force, but by compelling presence. Interestingly, spiritedness isn't exclusive to the loud or expressive. It often resides in the calm and composed, emerging in moments of bravery or decisive leadership. It's the invincible spirit in a horse that charges ahead, the mesmerizing spark in an actor's eyes, or the quiet resolve of a leader rallying people behind a cause. Cultivating spiritedness means nurturing that inner fire, embracing and channeling this vibrant aspect of your being to lead, influence, and make an impact. It's an elemental force propelling each individual to manifest their fullest potential. Being spirited is also about embracing life with enthusiasm and passion, finding joy in the little things, and facing challenges positively. It's a mindset that encourages seizing every opportunity, growing and evolving. At the end of the day, spiritedness is the fuel for life's engine, pushing us to strive for more, break boundaries and create change. It's an innate part of us, waiting to be awakened and harnessed, opening us to a world of possibilities and allowing us to live fully with purpose, passion, and power. Many of us are familiar with the concept of a second win in physical endeavors. We push past our initial exhaustion and suddenly find a burst of energy. But did you know this phenomenon has a mental counterpart? When we're mentally drained, focusing on a task feels impossible until out of nowhere, we get that mental second win and tackle our work with renewed vigor and clarity. This burst of mental energy is part of our latent powers, the hidden strengths we all have but often overlook. It's the reserve of mental and emotional might that we can call upon in times of need, and it's a testament to our inner potential. The secret to tapping into these reserves lies in earnestness, enthusiasm, and desire. These are not just feel-good words. They're the fuel that ignites our willpower. Think about it. When you really want something, you find ways to make it happen, right? That's your latent power in action. It's easy to look at successful people and think they've got something special that we don't. But that's not true. We all have it in us. The difference? They've learned to use their willpower effectively. Willpower is the driving force behind determination and action. It's not about stubbornly sticking to a task, but about harnessing our inner strengths to overcome obstacles. And desire plays a key role here. It's the spark that lights the fire of willpower. Imagine willpower as a muscle. Just like our physical muscles, it grows stronger with use. The more we practice using our willpower, the more capable we become. It's about cultivating our desires, channeling them into a relentless drive that pushes us forward. History is full of examples of individuals who harness their latent powers to achieve greatness. They weren't born with an iron will, they developed it through persistent effort and focus. Remember, the will is a primal force, an expression of our eye that's always with us. When we connect with it, we tap into a wellspring of energy that can transform not just our actions, but our lives. 
So what are we waiting for? It's time to tap into our latent powers, to stoke the fires of our will and desire and see where they can take us. Let's not be content with the ordinary when we have such extraordinary potential waiting to be unleashed. Raise that mental power switch, connect with the live wire of will, and watch as the path to success becomes electrified by our unstoppable spirit. The concept of enthusiasm is something we all recognize, but its depths are often unexplored. It's derived from Greek meaning having God within, which alludes to an inspired state of being. This internal force is what propels us forward, igniting our passions and aspirations. Enthusiasm is not just an emotion. It's a powerful source of energy that lies within us. It's what gives us the strength to continue when we face obstacles and the spark that fuels our most compelling endeavors. It's the essence of our soul force, a vital piece of our inner makeup that can transform the mundane into the extraordinary. It's important to note that enthusiasm isn't something you have or you don't. It's a fire that needs to be stoked, a potential that must be nurtured. By cultivating interest and desire, you kindle the flames of enthusiasm. This doesn't just benefit you personally. It radiates outwards, inspiring confidence and action in others as well. When enthusiasm is authentic and deeply felt, it becomes a potent form of mental steam, powering through tasks and challenges with a vibrant energy. It's a mental current that can lift the spirits of those around us, turning a collective endeavor into a symphony of concerted effort and shared vision. The absence of enthusiasm can rob a person of more than just joy. It can drain one's will to act and aspire. Therefore, maintaining this vital spark is key to achieving not just success, but a sense of fulfillment and purpose. To truly harness the power of enthusiasm, we must go beyond mere interest and cultivate a deep, unwavering passion. It's about channeling our deepest desires into our pursuits, allowing our soul force to drive us toward achieving the seemingly impossible. Remember, true enthusiasm is a relentless stream that carries us towards greatness. It's the undercurrent of our will, the driving force behind every effort we make. By embracing and nurturing our enthusiasm, we step into a realm where limitations are transcended and our true potential is realized. Desire. It's the spark that lights the fire of human endeavor. What is it though? More than just a wish or an appetite, desire is a powerful force, the natural yearning for something that seems good or beneficial. It's essential to our very existence, a motivator that pushes us toward action. In its purest form, desire is a great motivator. It drives us to achieve, to overcome, to aspire. Yet in excess, it can become an overwhelming force that can lead to obsession or unfulfilling pursuits. The key is balance, harmonizing our desires with our true needs and values. Some may tell you to suppress desire, to kill it as if it were an enemy. This however is misguided. Desire should not be extinguished but understood and directed. It's not about having less desire but about desiring the right things passionately and with purpose. Desire is the engine of achievement. Without it, the most brilliant mind lacks the will to act. Desire is the master of will. It is what propels every step we take, from the smallest decisions to the grandest ventures. It is desire that transforms thought into action, potential into reality. But how do you harness this power? It begins with recognizing and cultivating your true desires. This isn't about fleeting wants or superficial yearnings. It's about deep-seated, 
meaningful aspirations that align with who you are and who you want to be. To master desire, you must first understand it. Analyze what you truly want, distill your aspirations, and focus your energy. Then with clear intention, let these refined desires guide your decisions and actions. They become the compass that navigates you through the complexities of life. Remember, the power of desire isn't in the mere wanting. It's in the earnest, focused, and persistent pursuit of a goal. Desire, when well-directed, becomes a source of unbreakable strength and motivation. So cherish your desires. Let them be the catalyst for your actions, the architects of your dreams, and the authors of your success. With desire as your ally, there is no limit to what you can achieve. It's not just about wanting something. It's about wanting it with all your heart and soul and being willing to work tirelessly to make it a reality. The law of attraction is a universal principle where like attracts like, from the smallest particles to human desires and thoughts. It's this force that brings together atoms to form molecules and people to form relationships. It's about aligning yourself with your deepest desires and allowing them to guide you towards your goals. Desire is the catalyst for this law. It's the burning want inside you that pulls experiences and opportunities into your orbit. Just as electrons attract and repel each other to form the physical world, our desires attract the life we want to live. However, this law is not just about attracting what we desire, it's equally potent in manifesting what we fear. Fear, much like desire, has a magnetic pull of its own. When we focus on our fears, we inadvertently draw them closer. That's why it's crucial to master your thoughts and focus on positive outcomes. To harness the law of attraction, Begin by clearly defining your desires. Picture them in your mind, not as distant dreams, but as imminent realities. This mental imagery sets the stage for attraction. As you focus on these images, your mind begins to align with the frequencies of your desires, and you start to notice opportunities and take actions that bring you closer to your goals. Cultivating desire is not about passivity, it's about active engagement with your thoughts and emotions. It's about fueling the fire of want with the wood of action and intention. When you desire something earnestly enough, you're not just wishing for it, you're building the mental and emotional framework to achieve it. Remember, the law of attraction operates on the principle of desire. Nurture your wants with positive thinking and purposeful action, and you'll set into motion the forces that can bring your aspirations to life. Keep your thoughts and energies focused on what you aim to achieve, and watch as the universe conspires to turn your desires into reality. Personal Magnetism it's essential to consider the multidimensional aspects of this powerful trait. Personal magnetism extends beyond the initial spark of attraction. It encompasses a spectrum of characteristics that resonate at a deeper, more intuitive level with others. Core to personal magnetism is authenticity. It's about aligning your external expression with your inner truth. People are intuitively drawn to those who are authentic, whose external demeanor reflects their internal values and vision. This congruence creates a trust and a sense of integrity that is magnetic. Moreover, personal magnetism is often fueled by a perceivable sense of confidence. Not arrogance, but a quiet self-assuredness that signals to others that you are comfortable in your own skin and capable in your endeavors. It's a confidence that invites others into your space, 
offering them the same comfort and assurance that you carry within. An important aspect of this magnetic force is the ability to listen and connect deeply. When you truly listen to others, not just with your ears, but with your whole being, you validate their presence and perspective. This deep level of engagement is rare and compelling, drawing others towards you as they feel seen and understood. Emotional intelligence is another key element of personal magnetism. The ability to manage your emotions and understand the emotions of others not only enhances interpersonal relations, but also amplifies your magnetic allure. It's about navigating the complex web of human interaction with grace and empathy. Furthermore, personal magnetism is often marked by a vibrant energy, an indefinable spark that seems to light up a room. It's about having a passion for life that is infectious, an energy that motivates and uplifts. It's the passion you bring to your conversations, the warmth of your smile, and the positive outlook you project. Lastly, personal magnetism is sustainable. It's not a fleeting charm, but a lasting influence. It's the result of a consistent practice of self-reflection, self-improvement, and a dedication to personal growth. By continually evolving and refining your presence, you maintain and enhance your magnetic influence over time. To nurture your personal magnetism, engage in regular self-exploration to deepen your understanding of yourself and your impact on others. Invest in relationships with the same intentionality and focus as you would a precious project. Be generous with your time, your attention, and your resources, and watch as the magnetism you've cultivated opens doors and builds bridges in all areas of your life. It's pivotal to acknowledge that this allure is deeply rooted in the way one navigates the world. An attractive personality isn't a static trait. It's a dynamic and evolving quality that reflects a person's inner growth and outward interactions. Empathy plays a significant role in shaping an attractive personality. It's the ability to not only understand and share the feelings of another, but to act compassionately that endears individuals to those around them. Empathetic individuals possess a magnetism that comes from their genuine concern for the well-being of others, making their company sought after. Moreover, adaptability enhances an attractive personality. The willingness to embrace change and grow from experiences conveys a resilient and open-minded character. People gravitate towards those who are adaptable because they represent the possibility of transformation and growth. An attractive personality also embodies a sense of purpose. Individuals who are driven by clear goals and values possess a sense of direction that is compelling to others. Their purpose-driven life exudes a sense of meaning and intention that inspires others to follow or join in their journey. In addition, humor and wit are indispensable elements of an attractive personality. The ability to bring joy, to lighten a moment, and to see the humor in life's complexities is a magnetic quality. It's not about being the center of attention or entertaining a crowd, but about the ability to bring a sense of lightness to the everyday, a trait that brings comfort and joy to those around you. Humility is yet another facet of an attractive personality. It's about having the confidence to acknowledge your strengths while also recognizing that you are a work in progress, just like everyone else. Humility in one's character often paves the way for deeper connections as it encourages others to share and be open in return. Consistency in one's values and actions also contributes to the attractiveness of a personality. When people know what you stand for and see that you act in alignment with those principles consistently, trust is built. Trust is magnetic. 
and it is fostered by the reliability and integrity that come with a consistent personality. An attractive personality is also marked by the ability to inspire and motivate. When you uplift others and help them to see their own potential, you become a beacon of hope and an agent of change. The inspiration you provide can make a lasting impact, leaving an unforgettable mark on the hearts and minds of those you encounter. Finally, an attractive personality is characterized by graciousness, being gracious in victory and defeat, showing kindness and courtesy in all situations, and extending help without expectation of return. These are the hallmarks of a truly attractive personality. Essentially, cultivating an attractive personality is about integrating a mix of personal virtues that resonate with authenticity and positively affect the world around you. It's about being someone who not only speaks, but lives their truth, and in doing so, naturally attracts and nurtures positive relationships in all spheres of life. Reflecting on the essence of success, it's clear that it doesn't come from following a rigid set of rules. Instead, success is more about recognizing and harnessing the something within, that intrinsic power and capacity each individual holds. It's about understanding that this inner force is what propels you toward realizing your aspirations and that ultimately, you are the sculptor of your own destiny. This something within is often referred to by many names luck, destiny, or even the omnipresent it that some seem to have which others seek. Yet it's essentially the confidence in your own capabilities and the recognition of your own potential that matters most. It's the I can and I will mindset that turns aspirations into achievements. The closing message of this video is a reminder that the path to success is largely internal. It's an encouragement to cultivate a deep belief in your own abilities, to foster a strong will, and to act with conviction. In doing so, you align yourself with the fundamental principles that govern achievement and fulfillment. So as you step forth from listening to these insights, remember that the prime factor in success is you, your belief in your ability to take action, your determination to persevere, and your unwavering resolve to manifest the life you envision. With this empowered stance, success isn't just a possibility, it becomes an inevitable outcome of your personal journey and growth.